Well, Kiki's too mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> but you're walking right now. Run for it. Run for us. Oh crap, I missed the tree. <laughs> no. Quack. <laughs> I like how he goes quack. So you don't get that with the back end of your sword. I'm trying not to. That would be awkward. Maybe I meant to do that. Mm hmm? Meant to waste your own time. And no. But, but maybe. Oh no, is this a trick question? Never mind. Are you trying to confuse me? Never mind. Shut up. Hey look at that, I drained the water. Now I actually need a hook shot across here. Exactly. I wonder if that drained in Light World. It should have. Come to think of it. It is the Swamp Palace! Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh crap, is this like this game's water dungeon or something? <laughs> well, what was it in A Link to the Past? Yeah, but I didn't have to like really... I didn't have to worry about adjusting the water that much. I like the music one. in this dungeon though. I like the music in all these dungeons. What the heck is that? What 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 did I just do? All the music in this game is really good. This game has like one of my one of the my favorite Zelda soundtracks. Swim. Like all the original music is really good in it, and then all the remix music is really good in it. Huh. It's Yeah, I've liked it pretty good so far. Are you going to get this game for your brand new 3DS eventually? Heck yeah. I'll probably end up getting Fire Emblem first though. Simply because all I've already played a lot of this game. But then I'll probably get this game like after. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I like this. It's like, it's like one of those ice puzzles. Except I'm on the moving block. <laughs> Yeah, out of my way. Yeah. Some people just have no respect, I swear. You think you'll play through this game on hero mode? There's a hero mode? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just open that chest barely. No, no. Uh, I wonder if I can pull myself back. Oh, okay. Apparently there was something there I grabbed. <laughs> Yay! I, I meant to do that. Are you, yeah, you are a fan of the Fire Emblem series, aren't you? Yeah, I love the Fire Emblem series. Which ones have you played? Um, I've played Sacred Stones, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. That would be Game Boy Advance and the two GameCube ones? Or no, GameCube and Wii? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I got this. Yeah! Like a boss. Oh. Holy crap! That was not that difficult to get for 300 rupees. <laughs> not that I'm complaining, mind you. Oh. 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 Come here. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, that animation. Oh, that's water, not ice. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on the ice palace in my head for some reason. I'm actually kind of dreading that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna say right now that Ice Palace is the hardest uh, out, so, of, out so, of all of these initial yeah. dungeons. The Ice Palace was definitely the toughest in Link to the Past, just because of all the backtracking you had to do in that dungeon. It was absurd. Yeah, that one like still confuses me to this day. Really? That that one room where there's a hole in the floor and then there's blocks. The orange and red oh, yeah, orange I know, and blue I know box. You, I know what you're blocks. talking about. And you, I always get confused on where they need to be and like going up and down the floors. And... Tink. But oh, what's this? I haven't played that game as many times as you have. 
Yeah. Like, obviously I know how to get through it now, but like, when I was a kid, yeah, screw that dungeon. <clears throat> um... Oh, apparently I'm gonna ride the wave. Whee! Yeah, I don't know what the point of that was! Just to get over here. Well, you, you raised the water level. Yeah, I saw that. Oh! That's what the point of it was. Oh, that's so clever! Oh, crap. Oh. That's not so clever. I should have thought that one through. What would happen if I just stepped over this open pit? I'd probably fall because gravity. Let's test this. <laughs> this theory. What is this, mini boss? <laughs> Am I even damaging him? I'm not sure. Just slightly, I think. <laughs> Man, he's mad now. Good for him. Did he just dodge that? No. Ow. I did it. I could have thought that one through. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you know what? Fine. You can play this game. Ha! Ah! Why is it only hitting one of them? What in the world? I don't know. What is this garbage? You said it that. I wonder if it's because you're causing impact. Oh, or so if you set it down in the middle, it would take them all out. I don't know, that's kind of lame though. But pretty sure I killed, I was going to say, I killed everything, come on. What do you want from me? Oh, that's really weird though. Impact damage shouldn't do that. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me anyways. Programming. How does it work? We don't know. We well, just like to make stuff up. I don't know. You know. I only know a little bit. Not nearly as much as I'd like to know. Ow. I'm going to assume this goes somewhere I need to go. Yay! I no. only know... I only know, like, pretty much HTML and CSS. That's pretty much it. I don't even know what CSS is. What is that? CSS is a cross uh, is a cascading spread spreadsheet. Oh, uh, okay. It's a. Uh, it basically dictates all the rules for your website. So, so say you want a certain font style to be on your website. Yeah. Instead of having that information on each individual page, you you basically point your HTML files to one CSS that dictates. Uh, the rules for all pages that it points to. So it's okay. So that kind of makes sense then. So like you, you so it's, set. So it's kind of like so it just kind of complements HTML. Is that right? It it uses the same language as HTML, but it's its own type of language. It has its own its own um like style of language. It has its own syntax. Uh, if you so like if you program a um let's say you program a web page in HTML, um would you be able to use that CSS then to make like the font the same on everything there? Yeah, that's what it's for. Okay. Because you'd basically have one CSS file for your website, and then that would dictate you know basic like it 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 does a lot of things, but just like for example sake is like you can have your background be there. Basically everything that you want to be the same uh, uh, that's uniform on each page would be on your CSS so that way you can only have to change it once if you want to change it and it would apply to all your pages. Interesting. I like that. Uh, um, huh? Then HTML would be for your individual pages to just the, that page exclusive content. Interesting. Oh, oh, okay, bye. Oh crap, there's a switch that lowers and raises the water level. Just what I needed. <laughs> yep. Gee, I wonder what's in this chest. Probably a boss key. Ah, I'm wrong. I suck at this game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to retire now.
Let's see. You got the blue mail, Demarcus. You're not even excited. Oh no, I am excited. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't the boss key, Matt. It wasn't the that's boss half damage. Oh, I know, that's freaking awesome. Look at me. I look like a blue dwarf. Uh, nope. Pull, pull fast. Oh, uh, that was probably not the right switch. No, 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 oh. ow. No, no. Link, run! Run for your life! That, that was swimming, not running. Next time on TSR Let's Play, I'm going to ask Demarcus what coding languages he knows. What's a coding language? Oh my goodness. I know, I know what a coding language is. <laughs>